No oh, crap. I'm so sorry, Iris. I didn't mean to wake you. You know, you're lucky you're cute, babe, or else I would have plopped you upside the head. I mean, how could I get mad at you when you have a face like that? <laughs> I guess I'll need to thank my parents for passing their wonderful genes down to me, huh? Yes, you do. sleep yeah just thinking about stuff work what's on your mind then and I was just thinking about how lucky I am to have you in my life Iris Yes, you know I can't lie to you. You can't lie to anyone, Sojun. That's beside the point, Iris. Anyway, yes, I was up thinking about how lucky I am to have you in my life, because if you weren't, I would be an absolute mess right now. I haven't had the greatest love life, Iris. What, with me being asexual? People just don't get it. And many people don't want to get it. I never told you about this, but... Back in college, my girlfriend at the time would constantly try to guilt trip me and pressure me into having sex. She knew I was asexual and that I wasn't comfortable having sex with her, especially so early on in our relationship. Despite that, she said stuff like that if I didn't have sex with her, that was proof that I didn't love her. My ex told me that I needed counseling for my asexuality. That someone like me couldn't be loved. And for a while, I believed her. Because when I was in the dating scene, there were other people who their good her sentiments. It didn't help that my parents kept asking me when I was going to get married. It was hard, Iris. For a long time, I hated myself. And I thought for the rest of my life, I was going to be alone. And I was never going to be able to have a loving family all because of who I was. But then I met you, Iris. You showed me that I'm normal. That I can be in a healthy relationship. That I can be loved. So, June.
I... I'm glad I could help you realize that you're normal, Sojun. You being asexual doesn't make you less than anyone else, and it doesn't make you unlovable. Jeez, I can't believe you're making me cry at one in the morning. <laughs> Always managing to bring out the softy in me. You totally owe me some ice cream and a nice video game session tomorrow. Deal. What game do you want to see me play? Anything besides that sad one where you help spirits move on to the afterlife. Okay. No spirit fair. Hmm. Want to play a mystery game then? Yes! I would love to solve some mysteries with my ace detective. Yes. Nice.